Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Talking some pro wrestling here. Wrestling. For those of you wondering, I checked during the break. Mm. We do not have a winner yet. So let's talk about some more wrestling. That's not true, Brian. A winner is the listener or the viewer of this particular program. I was program expecting right to say here, a winner right. is you, and I'm very disappointed that's not how I, I thought about that. doing that, but it's it's really it's everybody who voted and all of you loyal people that are here with us right now. I love you. Nia versus Lana. This match, I almost swore on air just now. This match <laughs> was freaking horrible, but it, I, I couldn't tear my eyes off it. Well, mostly because of what we, I, I mean, I discuss this with Dave every week. Like, they think that Lana's getting a push. That's the idea behind this. There she's getting a push. Okay? Listen, granted, obviously, she's supposed to be a baby face now because she's feuding with, with Nyla and she gets put through the Nia. table every week by, by Ernaya. But I mean, dude, this is a push. She got completely <laughs> obliterated for three minutes. Naya pulls her up at two, beats her up again, finally gives her the Samoan drop, pins her, and then puts her through a table again. That, and this is not even like the ha-ha. This is their idea of giving her a push. Push to where? <laughs> push into what? I thought the Hurt push. Business was great. New oh, Day and Shelton great. Cedric were, it was a good match. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I tell Rick, you what, and I can take and I my like... eyes off Ricochet and Tucker, but that's another story entirely. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not done. You're almost done. Oh, for heaven's And then sakes. the main event. Listen, if you're looking at the show in the sense of is anybody going to watch the third hour of this show? No, I expect this third hour of this show to do close to 1.56 million or whatever, because the third hour of the show, I just couldn't even believe my eyes. Drew McIntyre against The Miz and Morrison is the main event of this show. Now, with that said, for those 1.56 million that watched it, that turned into a really fun match. Drew McIntyre beat up both guys. Of course, he he hit the Claymore on, uh, I don't even know who, probably Morrison, because Morrison always has to lose. But anyway, I thought the match was, was fun, and then they set up whatever they're going to do with Orton and Bray Wyatt and, and uh, Drew McIntyre, which... I suspect is not going to be any good because the fiend is involved. But for the night, they're building towards something after a good match. So I can't complain that much. I there's a lot we can complain about, but I thought this show was fine. Person here, Raw just has nothing biting or intriguing. On SmackDown, Roman stories engaging, Mysterios are interesting. The stuff in between is good enough. Like Bianca being introduced, Sammy, Kevin, Brian, Raw has what? Randy Bray Drew, which is very generic. Alexa has found nothing to do. Nye's putting Lana through a table. And AJ's new thing is, I have a big guy. Well, listen, I would not argue that SmackDown has been a lot better than Raw lately. I don't know what's up with this Alexa Bliss thing. I know they've got some cool idea. Oh, she's blah, blah, blah. She's got these cool contacts. That's like her whole gimmick now. She's got creepy contacts. Like, Geeks. That's... that's Somebody's that's where we're at right on now. This cosplay. That, that's yeah. Th this is so dumb. It just. I guess if it works for you, it works for you. But it just gets hokier and hokier, and just dumber and dumber, and again creepier into somebody's fantasy. There. Person has a theory about why SmackDown is doing so well. Says it's all about the background. SmackDown is bright, vibrant, blue, and inviting. Not to mention the star power. Raw feels dim, dark, red. And gloomy. Apparently, Crip has called in with That's only it. half the star power. It's uh, nobody looks good in red or around the color of red. Hmm. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? We're going to take some phone calls. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.